by Robin Renwick shows a heroine who for a very long time was the voice of South Africa's conscience during the darkest days of apartheid. This biography has deep insight including her unpublished correspondence with Nelson Mandela which was granted by her family to the author who was a former British ambassador to South Africa. Robin Renwick who penned the book rich with examples of a humor and political brilliance joins me now from our Cape Town studio. Robin good morning welcome. Good morning. Thank you. It's not the first time that we deal with a piece of work that looks at Helen Suzman, but this one, in my opinion, truly relates her struggles from a very personal perspective. Well, it does, because uh, I was here in the period leading to the release of Nelson Mandela. She was my closest friend and greatest ally, and she was a truly great South African. She led the uh, opposition to apartheid in Parliament. For 36 years, she opposed the unbanning of the ANC, every single apartheid law, and she made a great contribution to getting rid of them. She visited the Robben Islanders numerous times in prison. They became lifelong friends of hers, and especially she had the closest possible friendship with Nelson Mandela. And indeed, when he was released from prison, he asked her three, days, three or four days later to, visit, to meet him in Soweto, and there is a lovely picture of the two of them meeting right there. Mm. Um, she, she was a lifelong friend of his. You mentioned Mandela. In actual fact, he spoke about her courage, and he spoke about um, the, the personal work she's done for, for a lot of the, uh, the inmates when they were on Robben Island. What was it about her? I mean, you, your relationship, in large part, you were British ambassador to South Africa from 1987 to 1991. What was it about her that gave her that courage and that strength? Well, she was utterly fearless dealing with these, these horrible prime ministers. I mean, uh, when Vervoort told her, uh, I have written you off, uh, she replied, and the whole world has written you off. When Prime Minister Vervoorster said he couldn't see anything wrong with apartheid, she said he should try visiting the townships heavily disguised as a human being. Um, when P.W. Borta told her to stop nagging him, um, he couldn't stand women nagging, she said, well, if he, uh, if he were female, he would arrive on a broomstick. So she had this <laughs> wonderful biting wit. She was tough, principled, determined, and a lot of fun. Uh, she really was an amazing lady. For those that are politically conscientized, they would know that she served as an MP from 1953 to 1989. And for 13 years from 1959, she was the only member of what was then the Progressive Party. But what will she mean to a whole new um, grouping of South Africans who might not be um, that familiar with the history and how we got to this moment in time? Well, that's what this book is for. I mean, there's no biography of her. The last one was written 40 years ago, and this book is written in a, it's short, so it's intended to be readable. Most people tell me it is readable. Uh, you know, I'm hoping that it will be read by a new generation of South Africans who really will find it a lot of fun and very interesting uh, to, to, to read about her. 24 years ago today, uh, the then president of the National Party, Evia de Klerk, decided to uh, release Nelson Mandela. For a lot of people that don't know, how instrumental and how important role did she play in, in, in that release? Well, she played a vital role. First of all, uh, she demonstrated, through, all, through those 30 years, she demonstrated to black South Africans that there was one person in the South African parliament uh, who was prepared to stand up and fight for the rights of people who had no votes and no rights. And there are wonderful tributes to her from both Mandela and Winnie Mandela for doing just that. Secondly, she, was, she made devastating critiques of apartheid. She said again and again and again, this is never going to work. And towards the end of her career in Parliament, she used to tell me, I've just listened with grim amusement to a net MP making the same speech I made 25 years before. And by then, they had become convinced that the system had to change. She was a friend of de Klerk. She believed he would make big changes, and he did. On a personal note, how emotional was it to pen this biography? Because you, you had a very personal relationship um, with Helen Suzman. You were, you were friends. I, I did. She was a great friend. We used to do, you know, we spent a lot of time together. We used to go on fishing trips together and so on and so forth. 
I just want to show people what this lady was really like. On one famous occasion, she was trapped between a, a group of demonstrators and police with dogs straining on metal leashes trying to get at her. And this was a very resourceful lady. So what she did, she snarled at the dog's sit. <laughs> and to everybody's amazement, all the dogs sat down, and even the police were doubled up with laughter on that occasion. Finally, I just want to get a sense from you, but, uh, just because you got a lot of personal correspondence between um, Helen Suzerman and uh, Nelson Mandela, granted by the family. Mm -hmm. How does the family feel about this biography and the kind of conversations you've had with them um, leading up to the publishing of this book? Well, they are very pleased that it's been published. Um, it does contain letters from Mandela to her that have never been published before. In one of them, he, he describes her as a world-famous veteran freedom fighter. <laughs> but actually, she thought of herself as a kind of fighter for freedom. What she stood for was the rule of law, freedom of the press, independent judiciary, and honesty in public service. And those are values which are just as important today as they were then. So we're going to leave it there, but thank you very much for joining us and talking to us from our Cape Town studios. That is uh, author and former British ambassador to South Africa, um, Robin Renwick, and he penned a book called Helen Suzman, Bright Star in a Dark Chamber. And, of course, he was the British ambassador to South Africa from 1987.